This session is on spit formation through the process of longshore drift. Now all a spit is, is a ridge of land that stretches out into the sea. So in this picture, here is the mainland, here is the ocean, and then coming off the edge of the mainland here, you can see this ridge of land, this finger of land that stretches this way, and then stretches this way for miles into the sea. This is known as a spit. Now it's formed by longshore drift. All longshore drift is, is just the movement of material, material along the coast and then the dropping of this material into the sea. In this demonstration, imagine that the blue cloth here is the sea or the ocean and the brown cloth here is the sand or the beach and this ping pong ball is sand or pebbles that are on the beach. Now every single beach slopes down into the sea. We know this because if waves bring their water onto the beach, the water doesn't just stay there, it drains back out into the sea. So beaches are at an angle sloping down into the sea. Now we want to know why sand moves sideways along a beach. Um, and that's what this demonstration is going to be about. Now it starts with the wind. We start with the prevailing wind. All prevailing means is the usual direction that the wind goes. Now imagine the wind is coming into the beach at an angle. The prevailing wind will push waves towards the beach at the same angle that the wind is going. So the wind pushes the waves and then the waves will push the sand and pebbles up the beach at the same angle the wind is blowing. When the water gets to the top of the beach, it will roll straight back downwards at 90 degrees because of gravity. And then the next wave pushes up the beach at an angle. And then again, the pebbles and sand will be pulled back down into the sea at 90 degrees. So beach material moves across the beach um, at a zigzag. So here is a summary of what we've learned so far. Longshore drift is the movement of sand and pebbles and beach material along the coast. Now the way it works is the prevailing wind pushes waves, the swash, up the beach at an angle. It's just the wind direction. Um, this is known as the swash. When the water and material get to the top of the beach, um, momentum of the water will stop and then gravity pulls the water straight back down into the sea uh, at 90 degrees and this is called the backwash. The next wave comes in and pushes the material up the beach at an angle and then the backwash is repeated. Um, this process moves material along the beach in a zigzag fashion. Let's now see why spits form. So in this picture here, it's an aerial view, it's a bird's eye view, we're looking down um, on it from above. This is the land, here is the sea, and this area here is the beach next to the sea. Now let's start with the wind direction, because this is the wind direction, waves will be going up the beach, the swash will be occurring the same direction as the wind is hitting the beach. Backwash is dragging our waves back down the beach. So material is being moved along this beach like so. Now a spit forms where the material gets towards the end of the coastline or the end of the beach. Because if we look now, the swash is carrying these rocks over the edge of the land and dropping material into the sea off the end of the beach. Now, um, this movement, this longshore drift of material off the end of the sea and the dropping of it here, the deposition of it here down to the bottom of the sea, eventually um, there will be a build up of this deposited material. Um, it could build up all the way to the surface of the sea and the dropping of the material creates new land here off the end of the coast. Now imagine therefore, this is the new land that has been built at the end of the coast. Now what happens is longshore drift occurs across the new land and more material is deposited 
at the end um, of this developing spit. Now, these spits, this ridge of land that is growing out into the sea due to longshore drift, it can only develop if the sea is calm in this area. If it's not calm, um, then the waves will just wash the material away. Now, why is it calm in this area? Well, if we look at the wind direction and we look at the angle of the coastline, it means this area here behind the coast is sheltered. The wind and waves will be traveling this direction, but because of this bit of coast sticking out, the sheltered area um, means that um, material can build up over here. So that is the formation of a spit.